It's all very well having your dog retrieve bits of cloth and fluff, but how do you keep them on the right lines when you start introducing game? To start with, we use cold game. I start by usually cutting some uh, wings off a, a dead, obviously, pheasant, taping them to a dummy, uh, rabbit skin on a dummy, get them confident with that. Then into cold game. Use cold game, we keep a freezer full of, of as much game as we can get, then you go on to the real thing. Today we're going to go on to getting the dog to try and take the line of a, of a runner that has been shot. You'll see how we do it by uh, putting a shot, uh, today a rabbit, pheasant, whatever you want, going round so the dog can't smell it, it's got to go downwind of where you drop it. You'll see me, I walk round in a half circle with the rope, drag the rabbit across the ground, bring the dog out, send it to the fall, what we've rubbed into the fall to make good uh, blood scent, and then the dog's experience will get that it will follow that blood scent. And why do you drag it on a rope? Because I don't want to walk over where it's going because then the dog could be following my foot scent. We do it so the dog, it's a fresh line, nothing's been over that line, the dog has got to actually follow the scent, not mine. Tom runs West Haller Gun Dogs near Perth in Scotland. Visit westhallergundogs.co.uk. This series on gun dog training tips is brought to you by Skinner's Pet Foods, maker of the field and trial range of gun dog feeds. Visit skinnerspetfoods.co.uk.